instability. All right, so coming to both wound forearm fracture, the injury can ha happen as a direct blow to the trauma or as part of the high energy mechanism in polytrauma patients. Um, peripheral nerve defects are not so common in this and treatment is by fixing the two bones. Nightstick fracture is a classic ulnar shaft fracture, usually because of a direct blow to the ulna. When the patient is trying to raise his arm, his or her arm, to protect an injury, and there's a direct blow to the ulna. Treatment is by immobilization in splint, and if it displaced more than 10 degrees or 50% of the ulna is displaced, then uh, we need to fix it. So what is a Gallese? So Gallese is a fracture dislocation, just not a fracture. It's a fracture of the distal radius associated with distal radio on the joint. Mechanism of injury is by direct blow to the back of the wrist or fall on an outstretched hand and can involve the ulnar nerve injury. Uh, treatment has to be by surgery, by open adduction and internal fixation. So if you look at this x-ray, see where the arrow is pointing. So the arrow is pointing towards a dislocated ulnar head. So and the other x-ray, uh, other view of the x-ray shows a uh, distal radius fracture. Now, the counterpart of Gagliese is a Montegia fracture. So, in Gagliese, we discussed that there's a distal radius fracture with a distal radial ulnar joint dislocation. And in Montegia, there's a proximal ulna fracture with dislocation of the radial head this time. Happens because the direct blow to the posterior aspect of the ulna and because of a fall of an outstretched hand. X-rays, typical X-rays are done. Um, now, in about 25% of these cases, radial head dislocation may be missed. So you're going to carefully examine the alignment of the radial head. And as we discussed earlier, draw the radio capital lines. Uh, radial nerve injury can happen with these injuries. And treatment is by open adduction internal fixation. So this is important to understand and remember the way I remember is by Musa and grip so Musa M is for Montesia use for ulna fracture S is for superior uh, radial ulna joint and A is for anterior so the radial head most commonly dislocates anteriorly in Montesia fractures then for Galliese I remember as grip so G is for Galliese, R is for the radius bone that's broken, I is for the inferior or the distal radio ulna joint, and P is for posterior dislocation of the ulna head. Um, then Coley's fracture is something that, uh, you know, we see very common in the emergency department is a distal radius fracture which is extra articular and typically happens in elderly ladies over 70 years of age happens because of a foosh which is a fall on an outstretched hand um, presents as a classic dinner fork deformity uh, associated injuries can include median nerve injuries and if it's very angulated more than 20 degrees or there is an intra-articular component and just not a true colis uh, or if it's severe shortening, then we need to fix it. Otherwise, the non-displaced fractures can be treated in a plaster cast for six to eight weeks. Now, Smith's fracture is uh, also described as reverse Coley's fracture. Smith's fracture is a transverse fracture of the distal radius where the displacement is now volar. So, Coley's is a dorsal displacement and Smith's is a volar displacement. Mechanism of injury is pretty similar. Um, median nerve injury can happen and reduction of finger traps and manipulation needs to be done for these injuries with immobilization in sugar tong on long arm splint. So here you go, this is uh, Coley's fracture and Smith's fracture on x-rays. If you look at the images on the left, you can see that there's a dorsal angulation of the fracture. And if you look at the images on the right, it's a volar angulation of the fracture. So goals of reduction should aim to reduce the tilt inclination and get a proper length. So those three things are important. Okay, so remember, 
Smith fracture is a reverse Coley's fracture. So Coley's fracture has got a dorsal tilt, dorsal displacement, lateral tilt, lateral displacement, supination, and impaction. So those six are the classic features of Coley's fracture. Dorsal tilt, dorsal displacement, lateral tilt, lateral displacement, supination and impaction okay and smith fracture is the reverse coalies so it's a volar tilt